you can get behind him, and you can actually go into his mind, explore his memories. That's it. Hmm. You can't necessarily erase his memory. Again, you're just a participant. Or ne you're not necessarily a participant, you're just an observer. trying to keep these folks together and try and uncover what's what's making them not <laughs> what's keeping them from from achieving what they want and if you're not participating how can you do that well I haven't gotten that far yet I just bought this game a little while ago <coughs> So that's that's called the novelist. It's very cool. If you like, uh, you're a little more depth. You don't need a whole lot of twitch. That looks more of my type exactly. of game than a lot of the ones that are out there. Wait. This is running on the Steam engine. This is running under Linux on on a on this laptop, which is Ubuntu 1204. I'm using Steam. Um, actually, that game is part of. Um, if you go to the Humble Bundle sale right now, it's on sale for like $3.74. <laughs> That's not how we know. But uh, you can pick that up and you can download it with or without Steam. You don't necessarily have to have Steam. It's just, for me, it's my preferred way of getting my games. Steam mm -hmm. does automatic updates. Pardon? Yeah, it does automatic updates and such. And by yeah. using Steam, you're supported with the Steam engine environment, except for also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> do one last Steam one. Here. This is a time sink. They're all a time sink. Yeah, but this is an amazing time sink. This is one of those ones that you give your wife around uh, Christmas time, and you start hearing the sound like of warping all the time because she's just playing it over and over and over again. It's an amazing game. Quick, quick tutorial. So you're on a sh you're controlling a ship out in the space. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. Oh crap! There's a fire. Or the engines are uh, critical. Hey, 
Anywho. Yes, Sims in Space. Very cool. There's also one that I didn't get uh, put on here. There's other ones as well, like a Kerbal Space Program, which is you run your own space program. Literally, you run your own space program. Uh, you try and figure out how to get uh, your little purple dudes up to the moon and other sort of things, and it's very cool. So, to recap, uh, Linux gaming has come a very long way. It is no longer the handful of games that you feel like you have to buy. Now there is a plethora of things out there that you can pick up. Very A lot of different tastes out there. Uh, if you like strategy type games, there's Europa Universalis, there's Crusader uh, Kings. At some point, and I'm not sure when this is going to happen, but oh my god, I will be so happy. Beyond Earth, which is the civilization in space. The prequel, if you will, to Alpha Centauri, which was an amazing game. Um, totally looking forward to that one. That's going to be fun. Any questions? Concerns? Yes? So what kind of system, what requirements do you have for these games usually? Uh, like I said, I, this is a very low power machine. Most of them, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the minimum requirements are. I think they'll tell you what the minimum requirements are, at least for the PC versions. Um, pretty much the beefier the better. You want a video card, at least, that, uh, that can handle 3D graphics uh, really well. Um, NVIDIA cards are usually a pretty good bet on that. Um, and of course, it's one of those things that as much money as you want to spend, I'm sure that we'll take care of it for you. Yes, just a video card you're about to give away. That is a, a video card that is, uh, that is capable of doing a 